Hi, I'm Andor Puch. Um, I'm from LIT and my character is Nico and this is Young Entertainment. John Harmon Cooper from Young Entertainment Max. So nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I, nice to meet you too. I would love to know, do you remember when you first found out you were going to be on the show? Yeah, 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 I remember perfectly. I, I was in my grandparents' house in Barcelona and I uh, and I was uh, I was reading a thing in in some bedroom and I and suddenly my 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 boss, the boss of uh, my agency of actors, oh. called me and said, um, "Well, they were all um, in a, like in a, in a re reunion or something." Um, and they said to me, "You are you are in the show," and I was like, "Wow!" Like, um, I mean, I didn't I didn't believe in that time. And in that moment, my grandmother was uh, walking. Uh, right, right next to the bedroom that I was, and she heard that, and she was like, "Wow, it's amazing!" And <laughs> yeah, I remember, that, I remember that it was a joyful moment. I think, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Had you been a fan of the show? Had you seen it before you auditioned? Yeah, I've seen the first. Yeah, I've seen all of them. Um, the the last one that they made, um, uh, I didn't like a lot, but um, <laughs> yeah, I've seen all of them. Very, very cool. So, do you have any favorite characters, any favorite storylines? I really like, um, I really like uh, the role of Guthman. Guthman. Yes, yes. <clears throat> that is in the first seasons. I don't know. I like that character because it's like strong, has a strong personality and always have a very straight ideals. And, and it was cool to, to see that in a, in a character. I found it interesting. Awesome. Awesome. What was the audition process like for the role? I did one, um, uh, the casting self tape. I did one self tape yeah. in my in my house in Barcelona, and and then they called me because they wanted to meet me in 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 person. Mm -hmm. So I did I did one in Madrid. I I went to Madrid and I did one with them, and it went very good that that casting. And after that, they called me like weeks later, and they said to me that probably I was going to be on the show, but they were not sure about it. Yeah. And then a week later was when um, they called me uh, saying that I was going to be on the show right. for sure. For so, real. So how long to So how long total was that? Like a few months? Um, I think it was uh, less than a month. I think wow. like weeks, maybe. Wow. Yeah, uh, I remember that I was doing another another TV sh another TV show another show when they called me that I was going to be in it. I think it was two weeks or something like this. Wow, that is so cool. Are you living in Barcelona now? Um, I'm from Barcelona, but now I'm living in Madrid because I'm 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 doing the show here in Madrid. Yeah. But uh, I always I, I was born in Barcelona. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, my ho my home is Barcelona. That's beautiful. I got to visit Madrid like three years ago. My first ever Pride. Yeah. Pride, so yeah. And how was it? It was beautiful. I love the city. I love the people. My Spanish was a lot better then, so I did fine by myself. It was a really great time. Yeah, it's very cool. It has a lot of bars. Yeah. And a lot of party and stuff and people. A lot of culture. Yeah. You guys, though, the parties get started so late. It was like 2 a.m. before any. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, in Barcelona, we, we we do not start parties that late. I mean, we, we are more early 
ah. people play early. We we start more early, but um, but yeah, here people is like they start at two, at two. I mean, yeah, very very, like late. <laughs> so, how was it being in Madrid and filming season six of Elite? It's a, uh, it's a big change for me. I mean, I'm I'm 21 and I always lived in my house with my parents and stuff and my group of friends and this that happened to me has break all the rules i mean it has been a big it has been a big change for me and and but it's a positive change obviously it's something that i that i'm enjoying and that um it has difficult times sometimes because you're alone in in a city that you don't know but um it's where i want to be and i think that i'm i'm in a time that it's it's irreplaceable. I mean, I cannot. It, it, it will have it. What I'm living, it won't happen again. So I'm just trying to uh, be the best and enjoy it. You know. Yeah. Uh, the first scene that we see you in in season six is the shower scene. Was yeah. that the first scene that you filmed as well? Um, no, it was not the first one that I filmed, but it was one of the first ones. Okay. And it was quite, <laughs> I mean, it was cool. It was cool, but like, um, I was not used to, to do that scene, you know, kind of, right. it was new for me. Right. And yeah. it, it seems like that would be a scary scene to do. Um, were you nervous at all? Were you comfortable? Tell me. I mean, it was comfortable because they, um, they are so kind with me, all the, you know, but with everybody, with every actor, they are so they so kind and 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 yeah, they look up for us. But um, I think it was more like the experience of being in this um, this big production with actors that has a lot of name, and and you you are the you know you are the new thing and and you are there and it's like wow, this is happening. I don't believe it, but I'm gonna do it. You know, and it's like. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that uh, that um, yeah, it's it's cool, but it's like <laughs> I don't know how to, it's a big thing. It's a it's a deal. Um, I remember that that day I, f I filmed with Manu, Manu yeah. Rios, and and yeah, I remember that I I I didn't know him personally, and I had to do this thing that we were talking and presenting and it was quite you know like it was my first days and it was like I'm going to film with Manu Rios when I'm not with clothes on and it's it's like I was not afraid and I had a great time but I was quite nervous how was it working with Manu Rios um it's it, it was good I mean yeah with uh with him was fine what he's super cool uh we we shared us uh, uh, we didn't share a lot of scenes together, but I remember that he that he's uh that he's uh he's good he's he's kind he's really he's really cool guy and I and in that time um, when we were when we did that scene it was pretty fast you know I we I we didn't had a lot of. Uh, interaction but um we did the scene and that and that was it so part of the beauty of the show is that it's this one school and you get to see people come in and out but as an actor i know that you know a lot of the actors have been there before you i'm sure maybe a lot of the crew is so what is it like to create a new character in a show that's already so established it's very exciting um, because you have the references of the old ones and 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 yeah you, you and you and you know that it's a it's a very good show that works so good um, the people watch a lot of people watch and it's like uh, I don't know it feels like fresh you know like I'm gonna you know I'm gonna I'm going to do something and I'm going to um, give something to people that they haven't seen, but they know that 
this show is cool. So they have that security on that show. So it feels comf it feels confident to do that. So since this is a new character, I'm wondering how much of your personal life you get to incorporate into the role. Um, obviously, uh, there's the character and there's Ander, but is there any Ander in Nico? Um, I think they're quite similar. I mean, obviously, um, Nico is a, is a character and I'm Ander and it's different, but I mean, uh, I think that what we share what we must share is the fact that we are um, trans guys and that we have a security on being that tra a trans guy and like the, you know, being, you know, being really good about that, you know, being, being secure about it. I think that's the thing that I share with him. So Nico is pretty open with everyone at school um, about being transgender. I'm wondering what was your experience like uh, going to school in Barcelona? Yeah, um, uh, I remember I, I, I did my transition. I started my transition when I was 17, something like this. Mm -hmm. And what I, what I did was there was a moment that I, I couldn't handle anymore, and I had to say to the people that I was that I that I was a guy and that I was Andrew and that I I wanted them to 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 recognize me as as that. So what I did was just tell them. Uh, one day I uh, I told to all my um, to all the class that I that I, that that was my name. That I had a childhood that was like this. That the, well, I, I did like a speech, you know, and and they they understood me and they respected me. And since that day, I I live like this, and I'm I'm really cool with my life. Wow, that's amazing. So, um, I know the experience of trans people can vary a lot depending on where they are. For instance, I'm talking to you from New York City, uh, where trans people might have an easier path than they would in some rural places in the States. Um, in Spain, does it depend a lot on location? Um, what was your experience in Barcelona and maybe trans people generally across the country? Yeah, that's a thing that um, the place is so important. Where you do it, when you do it, I think that's something that you have to decide for yourself. I mean, that's something that it comes from, from you and you have to... Uh, um know when and where it's so important and that was what i felt in my case like i felt like that was the place that was the school that was um the um you know i was in Bar in a high school in barcelona that was really uh open-minded and like people were so different and and yeah i felt free there and and i felt like like i could do it you know um, before, years before, I, I couldn't have done that, but, um, in that high school, in that moment in my life, I, it felt the perfect moment to do that. And I was really comfortable doing it. And I think Barcelona is really a big city where you can be a little bit, whatever you want, you know, kind of, you, you can be, um, you can express um, your personality. You can express a lot of things of yourself, and they have, they have um, um, a medical organization. I don't know how it's called here in well in Americans, but it's like uh, it's called Transit, and they help people. They help trans people to uh, make their transition they they yeah they help us to kind of um get hormones and being um well being good in, in our transition yeah what would you like people to learn about trans people and trans characters on television from seeing your performance that that a this person is the same as a as a trans person mm -hmm. I would like to um, people realize that 
there's no difference between one and another and that you know a girl can fall in love with a trans person or a boy can fall in love with a trans person and i mean i don't know it's not there's not we are not a strange thing we are just like you i mean maybe we're not with so many privileges as a this white man but obviously we have some things that they are amazing too and you can you can like really i don't know fall in love with that you know i mean that we are incredible too and we can live good too you know i, I think that's what i what i wish um they see yeah on the show or at least on the second episode of season six uh you were on the soccer team yeah well football uh do you yeah. play in real life <laughs> um i actually uh i i like i like um soccer football but nowadays i, I don't play like regularly like i don't i i i play often but like it's not uh a sport that i do normally you know yeah but yeah i like soccer yeah it's cool so here's something i've been wondering um every season on this show there's so much drama people get murdered like all of these relationships <laughs> i just wonder why do people keep going back to this school can you do you have an answer yeah. for that? why do people <laughs> keep going back i don't man i don't have an answer for that i mean it's a it's a question that i think everybody um asks themselves like I don't know why their parents um keep <laughs> keep um you know uh doing this to their sons I mean and their daughters I mean it's it's crazy I don't know man it's a show and I think it's part of the of the you know the argument I mean yeah uh, it's a topic you know in Edmonton that uh, someone gets killed uh, <laughs> I don't know yeah. let's see I uh, took a look at your Instagram before we talked, and I noticed that there's a lot of poetry and rap. What do those art forms mean to you? Um, I love writing, and I love, I love, really love um, rap. And I, I listened a lot of rap when I was uh, when I was growing. Um, and yeah, just I just love both. I mean, I love music too so it it gets a little bit combined so i don't know i like literature and right i am reading too and yeah i don't know i like writing yeah <laughs> do you think you'll ever release like a book of poetry or maybe an album or is that something you just want to do personally for yourself uh yeah maybe maybe I, i thought about that sometimes but um i don't know right now i'm i'm fully um acting and you know um spending time acting and that's what i want to do but but yeah maybe someday i will you will see me in a book and my name in a book or something of poetry or something like this yeah i like i like poetry and rap something combined i will do something with these two things maybe amazing who are your favorite poets and rappers um i like uh one rapper here in spain that is called uh ayaxi brock and then from america i really like macomore um and i don't know I, I, a lot of a lot of um there's a lot but then Poetry, um, I used to read a lot of Charles Bukowski before, that is quite dark, but I, I like the way that he really express um, things, I don't know. And yeah, Charles Bukowski and that's the only one that comes from my mind right now. No, oh, that's great. That's great. Um... 
your favorite thing about Elite, watching it or being a cast member? What's your favorite thing about the show? Hmm. I think that my favorite thing about the show is that it has a big voice to the audience. Like, um, it can, we can get to a lot of people. I, I, I make, I'm making sense. Like we, we can be a a big voice for a lot of people. And, and that's a, that's, that's, that has a responsibility, but, um, but it has a lot of benefits, you know, as an actor, I can, I can be seen me and my friends that are in the, in the cast and like, and I came from a, a small series that it was a lot of a, a different world, you know, that has a, a other benefits, but like, it's so different. And one benefit that has LT is that, that has a lot of, has a lot of boys. And I think that's so powerful. You're so right. Um, is there anything else you want us to know about you or about the show or your character before we go? Um, yeah, that, Elite is something. It's a. It's a show that is. Uh, I mean, at the end, at the end of the day, is a. Fi is fiction. You know, it's like it, it's not something that, that really, um, teach you how things have to be. I mean, at the end, it's something that ha it's 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 for, it's it's entertainment. You know, and and like, it's not it's it's not for teaching people something. Mm. So I want to I want to make clear this because people sometimes get mixed um that and it's it's like it's not a docu documentary or anything, you know. It's just for fun, you know. That's but cool. obviously we we make it we make it with uh with sense and like, you know, knowing what we are because how, like I said, we have a little bit of responsibility. So yeah. Andrew, the show is a huge accomplishment for you, and it seems like it's only the beginning. So congratulations, felicidades, uh, and you're really wonderful to watch. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.